Welcome to Talk Bowling, episode 121. I'm Dustin Seymour. I'm Tony Rucco. Talk Bowling is proud to bring you the latest information from the bowling industry, bowling tips, and updates on the largest internet bowling website, BowlingBall.com. We're missing our friend to the right. Yeah, no Rich. There's a lot more room at the table, though, without Rich. Sure is. He's very broad shoulder. Yeah, I feel very spread out today. So, we hope you enjoyed having him on the show. We did. It was always a good time. Yeah. He's really... We'll have him back hopefully by the end of the year and get some more episodes with him. Yeah. So jump right into some questions or one our first really novel question. <laughs> yeah, our first novel from YouTube. Be prepared. This is long. Should really? Put some of that music like that. <laughs> like that yeah, can I music. Get, yeah. I'll just sit here like this. I want like p- soft piano music. Yeah, yeah, Kenny G. Yeah. That's not well, piano, but yeah, you knew where I was going with it. This guy. Release aids. Baby powder, hand conditioner, hat a patch, thumb sock, thumb saver, etc. For years I've struggled with releasing my thumb from the ball. I don't know if the ball was just drilled incorrectly, causing my thumb to not be able to relax or what. But up until now, the solution has been to simply make the thumb hole larger to the point that it simply falls off my thumb, forcing me to cut my wrist, squeeze the ball to the moment of release, and causing pain on the back of my hand. On my most recent ball, I refused to make the thumb bigger. But did have the guys in the pro shop file out a little bit of material on the thumb for me, which means he opened it. Yes. I wanted to find a solution that works and still allowed enough friction on the thumb to be able to pick the ball up using only that finger. I used quite a bit of baby powder and got the hang of it while making a huge mess before finding these hat patches. I used two or three of them on my thumb to cover the spots that stick. And this seems to allow me to relax my thumb and get a smooth, consistent release. What is your opinion of this particular product? Have you tried any of the others mentioned? Are there still others out there that might be better or different? Would a wrist device also aid in the smooth release of the thumb from the ball just by virtue of the angle you're forced to hold the ball while using such a device? Wow. Thank you for this question. Plural. Questions. That's a lot of yeah. That's more all right. I question. will. I'll go through, and you can just stop me. Um, well, let's let's let start by saying you mark. use. Hold on. Yeah. I'll here. I'll tell you what I use. I don't use hat a patch. I use protecting tape. Um, I if you've seen our ball videos, you probably think like my entire thumb is covered. It pretty much is. I wrap it front to back with one piece, and then I wrap along the base of my thumb, and the part that's on my hand is just to hold it on there. Uh, I did that so I could keep the thumb ridiculously tight compared to what I would normally do. I put the tape on and it allows me to get out of the thumb quicker. Um, similar to what it sounds like he's doing with Hatta Patch, Hatta is a type of tape that has different smoothness levels, so you can control that. I think Hatta is an awesome product. So I think the first question mark was, <laughs> what's your opinion of this particular product? Hatta Patch is awesome. I can't use it, it's too slippery for me. They don't have one that's rough enough. That's why I stay with protecting tape because it's just coarse enough that it gives me the release I want. Um, you can check out some videos on how to wrap the Hatta patch uh, or Hatta tape in general. I know Turbo, Hatta is not a Turbo product, but if you check out Turbo Grip's website, they have videos on different ways you can wrap your thumb and how some of their staffers wrap their thumb. So that may help. Well, he's using Hatta, and it seems to be working. Yeah, don't so change anything. Stay. Just try to tighten up your thumb as much as you can, so you, you know, until yeah, you, you should sh- always make it bigger. I, I don't know that you want to be able to hold the ball with just your thumb <laughs> in the ball. Like that may be too yeah, tight. Yeah. That, that may be a little too snug. Um, don't use baby powder Definitely because everyone in the bowling that. center will hate you. Uh, buy a product like Power Slide or Easy Slide. It's a silicone powder and it's non-transferable. So when you put Easy Slide or Power Slide on like the sole of your shoe, for example, it doesn't transfer onto the approach and affect everyone else on the pair. So don't use baby powder because that's not a good thing. Still, when it comes to your thumb and you're going to use Power Slide or Easy Slide, you're not going to get the same amount on your thumb every time. Yeah. So if you can use a tape, that's much better. Definitely. Um, Hand conditioner, rosin, all that stuff. Again, it's fine to use, but 
I'm in, in the agreement with Dustin. I don't like putting anything on my hand that I can't control every shot. At least if the tape's on my thumb, that part's the same. Whether I blow in the thumb hole to tacky it up a little bit, that's up to me. But I'm not relying on a, another product that I can put different amounts on. Uh, thumb socks and thumb savers, I haven't personally used them. They sell very well, so I'm assuming they work. I think they do something similar to the tape. I just don't like the way they feel when I've tried them on. That's just a personal opinion. But if the tape's working, like Dustin said, just use that. It, it, it's very common when you see people with tape on their thumb, they're doing it to control their release. One thing with the thumb saver is you do, unless your thumb is already too big for you, you will have to open the hole. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it, the, just the way the device works. And then your last question about the putting a wrist device on, Yes, a wrist device does tend to make you come out of the thumb quicker because most people don't put their hand in the ball properly and they do end up squeezing and a wrist device can sometimes change that. That's up to you. If you put a wrist device on and it feels the exact same as when the wrist device is off, then you don't need one. If you put it on and it feels horribly wrong, then most likely you need one. But yeah. the purpose is to control your wrist position. The side effect of that is your release with your thumb. So. I would just play around with it. I know in our pro shops, you're allowed to come in and try it for a few shots. So put one on, put a glove liner on under it so you don't get it all sweaty and don't put baby powder anywhere near it. If you put it on and you drop the ball, then you need one. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, if it's then you can tie up the thumb. Yeah. But that's up to you. Wrist devices are a bigger deal than just putting tape on your thumb. So That's something to ask a coach. Like, yeah. have someone watch you and see if... And I would check out the, the HADA, I know... The company that makes Hatta makes it in different textures. So maybe if if you're not thrilled, like it, that, it, it's not perfect, it's better, but it's not perfect, play around with the different textures of the Hatta tape. We have one that's kind of middle of the road, but it's pretty smooth. It's a little too smooth for me. You're just pull two-handed. Or yeah. just pull two-handed. Yeah, take your thumb out. Yeah. That's perfect. Good advice. Yeah, you don't have to worry about yeah, it. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> 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 All right, thanks, whoever that was. Yes. Mr. YouTube. All right, question from Facebook. Wrist rotation on release. Trying to get my thumb to stop at 11 or 12 o'clock. I'm mostly successful, but need more consistency. Suggestions, exercises, etc., etc. Practice. No, but seriously, um, I think you're thinking too much about actually rotating with your hand. You only have to really just a, the slightest rotation with your wrist and your hand will make the ball hook. So I think if you think about just coming up the back of the ball and not trying yeah. to hook the ball, that you'll actually do, you're still going to rotate because you're that's what you do naturally. So just try to. Yeah, and we have some other videos on this too. If you go back, we talk, I have, we have a video that we did on Facebook on how to hook the bowling ball and we talk about some of the mental triggers and things you can work on to get the ball into the right rotation and we've talked on here about you know think about having a football lateral in your hand and you're going to just kind of get it up onto the point of the football you you don't need to do much with it um, the biggest thing like Dustin said is practice it's it's muscle memory so you should with enough practice uh, and don't be overly concerned about 11 12 o'clock just get practice the same thing over and over and over again and your muscles will take over after a period of time. You won't have to think about it. It will just happen. Good question. Yeah, very good. All right, so you see these in front of us. Pyramid just released four new performance balls on the 24th of August. And we have the Force, the Curse, the Antidote, and the new color of the Path Rising, the Aqua Silver. Yeah, so we added uh, pretty much a ball to each performance level that Pyramid has. So our pro performance, advanced, high, high performance, performance, advanced performance, and then entry. So um, this, the force features a new weight block force, the SG Processional Asymmetric, uh, paired with the GPS Navigational cover stock, which we've had on most of our other high performance balls. We had a couple of variations in it. We threw these this week and they're insane. Uh, videos will be out hopefully by the week by the end of this week, if not by early next week, uh, this ball is absolutely nuts. The nice thing is it's really strong, but it's very clean in the head. It doesn't read anything really early, but 
I mean, we had no issues hooking the ball any, a lot. Any part of the land. Like, yeah. It was we were on the fresh, and it was it was stupid. Uh, the Curse uh, has the GPS navigational ATX cover stock, which, again, was used on some pro performance balls previously. It's on the Divergent. That's solid. Yeah, and then an all-new symmetric block, the SG Equinox Symmetric. So this is your house shot beast. I mean, it it's really strong. Uh, it comes... This comes finished at 2000 grit Avalon. The uh, Curse is 2000 grit Avalon with factory finish polish. Uh, it's just, it's meant for house shots. If you have any issues getting the ball to change direction on house shot, the Curse will do it for you. There's no doubt. It just doesn't stop. Yeah. It's crazy. It was, it was. I left 79 pins. Yeah, we did, did quite a few. You have to, once you learn how to. And then the antidote is the much awaited follow up to the pathogen. So everyone. If you throw Pyramid, you know the Pathogen's probably the most successful ball we've ever released. Uh, the Antidote backs it up. It has the GPS navigational cover stock and another new symmetric core, the new Era 149 core. So it's a little bigger core than what was in the Pathogen. Uh, gets the ball started up a little sooner. Uh, more controllable. Uh, anyone that throws the Pathogen knows that it likes to go left <laughs> for a righty or right for a lefty. It changes directions really hard. This ball just smooths all that out. It gives you something to read the lane a little bit better with. If you're getting too much down lane motion, the antidote's the solution for that. See what I did there? No, didn't even happen. It was just natural. The force is strong. I got all kinds of crazy stuff that just happens when I talk about these. And then the rising is just a new color. We just thought it was an awesome Pretty color. Awesome, yeah. And um, as we move closer to the holidays, there'll be some products that'll match up very well with that color combination. So look for that little teaser. That's right. All right, we do have uh, a couple upcoming releases as well. On September 20th, uh, we have the Track Paradox Trilogy and the Ebonite Mission Unknown. Ooh. Mission and then it's the it's, everyone's talking about this ball right now. May as well give it a few minutes and let them know what's going on. Yeah. So they made roughly eight thousand bowling balls total of the mission unknown. The ball is black. Uh, it's playing off the original mission, which was a huge seller for them. So what they're doing is less than one percent of all those balls made, there will be a gold pearl version of the mission unknown. Uh, less than ten percent of all the balls made will be a red pearl version of the mission unknown. So what Ebonite is doing, if you get a red Mission Unknown, awesome, you're lucky you got one of maybe 800 balls on the market. Uh, same ball, they say performance differences are negligible. They're right on top of each other. Uh, not for the red ball. Not for the red ball. If you get a gold ball, so it's like one of 80 balls, you're going to contact Ebonite. I believe there's a card inside. You're going to contact Ebonite, they're going to send you a black ball, thinking you may not want to drill that gold ball, and they'll also send you a special mission unknown jacket uh, the boxes are completely sealed there's pictures on our website showing you how the process works we're not going to see the balls they're going to come to you sealed from ebonite you're going to open them and kind of like a golden ticket giveaway bowlingball.com on top of that promotion all of the balls that come out of our warehouse are going to have a bowlingball.com sticker on the box so we know that it came from us if you receive a, a red bowling ball from bowlingball.com we have a bowlingball.com gift pack that you're going to receive valued at a little over $109. It's got all kinds of goodies, t-shirt, towels, ball cleaner, that type of stuff. Uh, you'll just let us know, hey, I got a gold ball, we'll send you out the package. If you get one of our gold ball, or red balls, if you get one of our gold balls, you'll get that package, plus we will refund your purchase price that you paid for the ball to you. So you'll essentially get it for free, and then Ebonite's going to send you a black ball anyway. So Again, it's a really limited number. Uh, they don't. We don't know what weight the balls are going to be. They're going to be random, randomly mixed into each pallet we get. So, for a chance to win that offer, you do have to buy it from bowlingball.com. That's right. The ball looks cool. You also get to go to the factory and go up in the Dude. elevator. No, I'm joking. Willy Wonka. Oh, I see what you did there. He just died. Rest in peace. There's no Gene Wilder. Off topic. <laughs> just a bit. I got it now, though. The glass elevator. Yeah, but Gene Wilder just died. Willy Wonka. Yeah, I saw that. I'm sorry about that. See, I think of Blazing Saddles. <laughs> you guys think? I think of Willy Wonka. Okay, well, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever you want to do. All right, contest. Uh, we give away a ball each week on Bowling Wait, Ball. We what did we forget? Oh, I'm sorry, Storm. Yeah. 
Listen. On 10 4, These are... the Storm Phase 2. Phase 2. And the Street Fight yeah. will be released. We haven't seen those or thrown them yet. Not yet. The videos for the trilogy and the Unknown, by the way, are already up. Check those out. Phase 2 is supposed to be the strongest symmetric ever from Storm. So. Hmm. It's going to hit. That's the trend right now. It's been the trend for the last. <laughs> <laughs> and Street Fight. So there you go. All right. Contest now? Yeah. Or did I miss anything else? Uh, no. We give away a bowling ball each week on bowlingball.com. Just click the 52 week, 52 winner image on the right side of the page to register. That contest resets every week, so you do have to come back and register each and every week for a chance to win that ball. Also, bowlingboards.com gives away a ball each week. Uh, just head over to bowlingboards.com, register for an account, and if you make one post per week, you'll be entered to win. And if you want another entry, you can go to the bowlingboards.com Facebook page, which is facebook.com slash bowlingboards, and you can comment on the posts that they have for their contests each week, and that will get you another entry. Awesome. And Pyramid Bowling also has weekly giveaways on their Facebook page. I believe it will be stacked with all new bowling balls for the next few weeks. Is that correct? Yeah. That's the plan. So uh, you have a chance to win the balls right in front of us. Uh, head over to their page, facebook.com forward slash pyramid bowling for a chance to win. Uh, all contests reset each week, so sh be sure to sign up every week. That's right. All right. And if you want to contact us, send us your questions. Uh, possibly, hopefully a little shorter. Like a cliff note version. Yeah. Like whatever's in your head, <laughs> chop it in half and then chop it in half again. That would be perfect. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> you can email us at questions at talkbowling.com. You can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash talkbowling. On Twitter, we are at talkbowling. And you can also leave a comment on talkbowling.com. We should get a Talk Bowling Snapchat. Since I'm in there now, I'm on Snapchat. It'll just be Don't every once in a while, we'll just snap, and it'll just be random bowling talk. I'm still very leery about Snapchat. I just feel like I'm gonna get like an eight-year-old girl sending me. You can't control it. So I, I, I just I know I, I don't touch it. Like it scares me. As long as you don't add I only an eight-year-old girl look, to your friends list, then okay, you're fine. I only went to look at our videos and like I haven't touched it, and I didn't tell my wife about it because I felt like she may divorce no. me if I told her I got Snapchat. That's just how I feel. I'm sorry, Snapchat people. Just say plus the ghost. Yeah, What's up with the little ghost icon? I don't get it works for them. Uh, it's not a bird like Twitter. It makes sense. It's a ghost. I don't know. See? It's a ghost because it like disappears. No, it freaks me out. Can't, I don't no, it freaks me out. Uh, all right. Last week's question of the week. What was the first PBA event held outdoors and who was the champion? Well, that was 1999 and it was the New York City PBA experience. I remember that. It was actually a really cool show. But so the lanes were... Prince just came in my head. Oh, nice. I love Prince. It's my dude. See? He's wearing the purple. It just comes out when Bam! he's purple. It happens. But the winner was Eric Forkel. I watched that show. Left the other two. It was a cool show. Um, and one person did get that on YouTube. I can't remember the name. I forgot to write it down. Congratulations, but. mystery man. Yes. Or person, I should say. Uh, this week's question of the week. Where was the first ever PBA national tournament contested? And when would be good. Is it... Where or when? Or both? But See what you come up with. Yeah. Yeah. If you get one, that's cool too. Google it. What did we do before Google, really? You had I to don't actually know. open a book. Well, not for PBA facts. You just kind of. Called Rich. Yeah, call Rich. There you go. He knows the answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in closing, please remember that bowlingball.com is free shipping on every item every day. No hidden handling fees, no packaging fees, no added insurance fees, no minimum purchase. The price shown is the price you pay at checkout. Bowlingball.com, it's where bowlers go. Thank you. Thanks.